Hey everyone, this is Dan, and if you're just getting started with WordPress and you've signed up for a free blog or even a premium blog on WordPress.com, you might be a little confused by my other tutorial because it looks way different for you than it does for me. And I'm going to show you why, and I'm also going to help you figure out why you can't upload your own custom theme. So if you sign up for a free site on WordPress.com, this is going to be what you see when you first create your blog. And you can see there's a section here called themes. You can go into the theme section and choose your theme. Some of them do cost money. Some of them are free. There's also a customized section. You might be looking through here to try to find out where you can go to upload a theme because it's really not there. There's just not a simple link to do it. Now, this is because on WordPress.com, you cannot upload custom themes even with their premium plan. Even if you give WordPress.com money, you cannot use WordPress custom themes. Now what you need to be able to, or what you need in order to be able to use custom themes is a WordPress.org site. <clears throat> so WordPress.org is different than WordPress.com. So what WordPress.org is, is it allows you to download and install your own version of WordPress running on your own hosted uh, server. So whether that's with GoDaddy, whether that's with Namecheap, whether that's with Bluehost, whoever you choose to do it with, in order to use custom themes, you need to be using WordPress.org. And you actually shouldn't have to go to this site because no, no matter who you're using, it's usually just a click of a button to install WordPress on your website. And I have a tutorial, I'll link to it, that shows you exactly how to do it in less than five minutes with Bluehost. But you need to be using WordPress.org's version, which is their full application. It's free. You don't have to pay anything except for your domain registration and hosting. Now, just to show you a little bit of the differences between there, and I'll put a link to this blog post in there. You got WordPress.com, .com Premium, and WordPress.org. Third-party themes is only for the WordPress.org. And WordPress.org is free, like I said, but there's a little asterisk because you are paying for hosting and you are paying for the domain name, but it's totally worth it to do that because usually with a hosting plan, you can get up to 15 or 20 different domains on a single hosting plan. So you just pay, what is it, like 80 bucks per year, maybe a little bit more, and then you can have up to 20 websites all separate from each other on that same hosting plan. Then all you pay for is that hosting and then about $10 per year for each domain. And you can have as many WordPress installs as you want. The reason why WordPress.com and .com Premium don't allow themes is because they're what's called hosted, which means WordPress is hosting the blog for you. That's why when you go here, you can see if I go to uh, view, view site, my URL is nnltutorials.wordpress.com. Now, if I had my own domain, it would be just nnltutorials.com, which is the domain that I use, but because this is hosted on WordPress, it's .wordpress.com, and that's what that means. And with a premium account, you can use your own domain name with WordPress.com, but because they're still hosting it for you, they don't allow you to do custom themes because of safety, because of all these different types of things. But if you're buying a nice theme from a trusted supplier, such as Theme Forest or something like that, you should be good to go. So hopefully that's cleared things up for you. I know I had a lot of questions about this on my last video, which is why I wanted to create this one. So yeah, let me know if you guys are still having problems or have any uh, questions with this. Thanks. I hope this video was helpful. This one right here is the settings you should change on every single WordPress install immediately. This is my most underrated video in the entire series, so I highly recommend checking it out. Hope you enjoy.